Hi guys. This is a little bit different from dresses as such, but it's um, a much needed um, item that we need, and that is um, bras. And what can happen is that over time, um, if you put on a little bit of weight, your bras can get tighter. So um, all that you really need to do is add an extension to the back. Now, <clears throat> there's a number of ways that you can do that. Um, I, over the years, I have um, kept lots and lots of different bra pieces. So if I throw a bra out, for example, I'll take the pieces off the back and I'll keep them so that if I have someone come in and they need an extension for their bra, then I've, I've got them. I mean, I've got the, the wires, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, the straps, even the little bit of hardware that's on the straps. If the straps are no good, you can cut off the hardware. And if you just keep all that in a little plastic bag, when you need something for a bra, then you can just go and grab it. Um, I've got one of those like this, but it's a lot bigger. Big um, containers in my garage and it's got lace and bias binding and all sorts of things like that. But I've also written on there bra items. So I know that that's where I go to, to find them. Now this is actually my mum's bra and it is too tight for her. But what I found was I only had a white one in this particular shape to add. And then I thought, you know what, rather than doing that, because I've done it for her before, I might just sew some elastic in between. So I'm going to unpick that, stick the elastic on, and then put that back on. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So that's just a little trick for you that, you know, all you need is a little bit of elastic if you don't have the right bits um, and you don't particularly want to add another piece onto that um, or you'd probably do it on this side of course but if you don't want to do that just use some elastic this is actually a woven elastic and it's 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 really good because it's quite thick and it doesn't so see it's really hard to bend it you know, you wouldn't use an elastic that's really thin because that would just maybe, you know, bend, whereas this is nice and strong. So I'll show, show you how I'm going to do that. So all we need to do is undo the zigzag that's on this. You can slide your quick unpick through. I generally do it on the underside, not on the right side. Okay, so that was pretty simple, wasn't it? You know, and that doesn't look too bad because it's a nice thickness and it's the same width. 
So I'll just zigzag those across and we're done. All right, so I've been sewing straight stitch. So every machine is going to be slightly different. Some of you will have computerized. But um, basically when I'm doing straight stitch, I'm usually sewing between a two and a half and a three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that across to zigzag. And I'm going to bring this across to just probably just past the two. I'll check that when I do it. Um, and I'm going to bring this right down here to about, it's probably about 0 0.3. It's, it's just less than half. Okay, so now we're ready to sew. I'm going to take my clear foot off and just put my normal one on. Now, I just want to, I'm going to lower the need. I'm going to bring that, make the zigzag just a little bit more. And because I've got a little bit of bulk there, I'm just going to put my Jean Genie there to help me get started so it doesn't get stuck. I don't want to put my hand in the way of the camera. So see how that's stuck there? Whereas if I put the Jean Genie there, it goes right to the end. So it just helps when you're sewing something that close. Now I probably made that a bit too tight, so I'm going to bring that back a little bit for the next one. Okay, now... <clears throat> Because I've got these here like this, you know, and, it, and it, it, so if I put that, for example, if I put that there, see how that foot is going to hit them. So I'm just going to turn it around and sew back this way. So see how that was just that much easier just by turning it round? done. Okay so there's a little bit of thickness here so what I'm going to do is lower the needle into both of them and just use my Jean Genie, you can use anything else, just raise the foot so that it will just start that stitching. Get rid of the pin because that will be stopping it to sew. And also I found that it was just a little bit too far when I did it back there on the other side it was a bit too far so I've moved that there to there and that's just a better width apart for the zigzag. So that's the first one. And I have to say these are my mum this this is one of my mum's favourite bras, so you know, you might not necessarily go to this much trouble 
you know, if it wasn't a favourite. Um, now, if I put that there, particularly when I sewed the other side, you know, I had the um, hooks in the way. So even if I did that, see how they would hit the, um, they'd still hit the side. So what I did, I turned it around. So I'm going to do the same here, even though these are flat, I don't want to end up with an issue. See how it doesn't want to move? So get the Jean Genie, pop it in underneath, and away we go. It just, you know, from something that's so thick, and what happens is that the, the foot is kind of raised like that, so it doesn't go anywhere. So the minute you bring the foot flat, away it goes. And there you have it. So now her much loved bra is just that much bigger for her and it make it a little bit more comfortable. And that elastic looks quite good, doesn't it? You know, like, I mean, it's not really a big issue. If I put the two together. So I put the two together like that now. So there you have it. And the thing is that by adding as much as I did, if she wants to, you know, she can always go back to this one here because now she's got that movement. Okay. Happy altering. <laughs>